Hey guys, I just thought that I would share a couple of helpful tips about creating hyperlinks. There's three different ways to make hyperlinks. Um, well, same method, but different applications. Um, so let's say that you have a document, for instance, that you want um, you want to share, you want to link. It could be a video, it could be a document, anything like that. Okay, so you're gonna copy the address and then you're gonna go back to your slides. And if you would like to like leave a traditional link, it would look like this, right? We've all seen this, so click on the link here, okay? Or if you wanna do it a little bit different where you link it to a word, click on the link here. You highlight the word, and then you click on this little button up here that says insert link. It looks like a little sideways like chain. You click on it, and then you just paste the link that you just copied and you hit apply. So now it's a little blue word. You can change the color if you want, but that makes it obvious that there's a link to click on, so click on the link here. So those are two different applications for how to include hyperlinks in a document. Also, you can hyperlink images now. So you can click on an image, you can click on the little hyperlink, insert link button, and you can um, put your own link and hit apply. So let me show you what that looks like from a presentation standpoint. Okay, if you're doing a presentation or if you're um, doing virtual teaching or virtual learning and you have different ways to display hyperlinks, you can click on the link here. I'll click on it to show you it works to take you to the document. You can click on the link here, which takes you to the document, or you can do pictures. And you see how it changes from an arrow to a little white glove or from an arrow to a little white glove and here's an arrow, and here's a little white glove. That means that that's something that you can actually interact with. So if you click on this, it takes you here. So depending on the type of application, the style, some people like to see the old school, here's the link. This is very obvious that it's something for you to click on, here it is, right? But if you don't wanna show the whole pathway because sometimes the links are very long and they don't look as nice, click on the link here. Or if you want to do something that's a little bit more interactive and a little bit more, um, uh, appealing to the eye. You could include, um, it's a document, so I put, you know, I just Google search document and I put it here. So those are three different ways that you can utilize hyperlinks depending on the type of uh, application you'd like to use. So I hope that that helps out a little bit.